Windy Bill here. Lahatten Dam and Reservoir. This is part of the New Land Project. And this dates back a long ways. I'm going to walk up here to the uh, state marker. I'll let you read that. Completed in 1915. And the New Land Project was to feed water for ranching and farming in this area. Also electricity energy. Oh, sorry about that. Turn a little bit. And one of the other dams is the Lake Tahoe Dam. It's part of this project. And the Derby Dam over off of Interstate 80 where the canal goes from the Truckee River. They have a dam and canal goes to the Truckee River and then they dam it up and then they have a canal that comes to this lake where the Truckee River can also bring water here. This is primarily fed by the Carson River right now and it's flowing good. Bring you in we'll get more. Okay. We are right now looking at the canal that comes in from the Truckee River. This is used all the way from the river to Fernley and around and down and out. And it serves the irrigation purposes. But when the lake is needing water, because the Carson River is not supplying enough, water can be converted from the Truckee River into here. And here's a picture of the lake. It's one big beautiful lake. And there's the dam. Built around 1909. Still holding the city standing strong. And the water is released slowly. Some going through the power plant and into the little river that leads out. But most of it goes out the canals that feed all the different farm country in this area. And there is a lot of it. Now, I understand there is good fishing in here. But there is a problem. This should be a catch and release type lake. Only because fish contain high levels of mercury and should not be eaten. And the reason that is years and years of mining all around this area has disturbed land and caused mercury to come to the surface in the mining areas and mercury was used in the gold processing process and it's just abundant. Now there is a road that goes across but you're not allowed to get on it. Okay, I'll bring you back when I find something more. Okay, we're down by the power plant. And just, you know, to tell you the age, that's some old infrastructure from the power plant. It's probably right here was a, probably the original switching yard. All this old infrastructure reminds you of times. You know, don't forget, this started in the very early 1900s. All right, it says do not enter so I can't go down any further. I think I'm at the junkyard. All righty, I'll bring you back when I find more. Okay, I showed you the old infrastructure. This is the new. This is the switching station for the power plant. So 
it shows you that they're producing a pretty good amount of electricity here. And the power lines are right there coming in or going out, uh, coming in from the power plant and going out over there. Alrighty, thank you. I'll bring you back when I see more. Yeah, I apologize for the sun, but this is the outflow of a Houghton Dam. This is uh, the water they're releasing through the power plant and if they're releasing any on the spillway, this is where it would come to. It goes down a little ways and then starts getting off into the canals for the irrigation systems. Okay, we're at the back side of the dam. This is as close as you can get to it. But this is a lot and dam. And that is the old powerhouse. Now I'm going to try to find online some pictures of the interior of the old power plant. And I'm going to walk down here towards the river. We're going over a tunnel. And we got a trickle of water running through it. Like I said, you're going to be able to look at all this area through multiple videos covering different parts of it. He needs to go potty. Okay. Now you start to think, this was all built around 1907. And look at the year we're in right now. Beautiful river flowing. You know, today we probably couldn't build something like this. I doubt if the, the people, the government would allow us to build a project like this. Oh, you're damming up water. But it's a really beautiful area. Someone did a painting of a tent camp. Okay, in my video, there's the outlet tower. Look how low the water is. People rafting down the river. That's the uh, runoff catch basin. But this is very beautiful down here. Okay, we're in the uh, Lahotten Dam campground. And you got the river there. This is a beautiful area. I'm trying to walk down here to see if there's a spot we can get to get a little better view of the uh, river. I looked at the uh, size of this tree. Dead. 
cottonwood tree and then we got some good cottonwood trees there look at the river flowing got a little picnic table bait table for when you're fishing down there You know, I'm going to be spending a lot of time up in this area filming, so I'm going to give some more videos. One thing I am going to do is come camping here one weekend. And set up camp and spend the weekend here and just relax. I've got an annual pass for this park. Well, it's an annual pass for all the Nevada parks. And I like this site quite well. It is really nice. Uh, campfire ring, barbecue. Be a good spot to fish. Number six, I see. Okay. It sounds like Miss Sunshine girl is having a little trouble with the guppy. A couple of these up here camping. A really nice spot. All right, thank you for watching. We're gonna put these videos together in a group. I think this is gonna be one video by itself with another video talking about Lake Lahotan and then one on the Newland Water Project. So just keep an eye on the videos as they post. Guys, I need you to hit likes. I need you to watch, like, and subscribe. Uh, I had some really bad problems getting some videos out this week because I was in a lot of areas that was way back in the countryside with no internet. So my channel was hurting a little bit. So if everybody could like and subscribe and watch my videos, recommend my videos to other people to watch, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much.